Hi guys, uh, this is Philippe from uh, Spintop Studios and I'd like to show you a neat little trick that I came up with uh, for pull vector constraints for the elbows and for the, and for the knees. Uh, it's a really simple setup, there's no need for, for melt scripting or anything like that. And basically the way it works is select the foot and the uh, pull vector uh, control follows the knee. That way you don't have to go hunt around the scene. So let's show you how that works. I'm going to uh, open a scene. This is the uh, previous version. Don't save. And uh, so I have a pull vector constraint that right now is not constrained to anything. And uh, I have I do have a basic IK setup for the foot. So first thing you want to do is uh, create a um, where is create a circle. So go to create nerves primitives and a circle and you want to put it close to the knee so and there I'm going to turn on my geometry whoa okay uh, and this is way too big so you want to shrink it down and move it back that way it's not touching any of the geometry now it's too small that looks good Maybe a little bit. There we go. So next thing you, you want to do is take the uh, control, the the control, and bring it so that it's touching the tangent of the circle. We can bring this down. That looks good, and that looks good as well. So uh, I am going to um, unhide. I'm, I'm sorry, hide all the geometry that I don't need. And um, so first things first, first I'm going to constraint, uh, pull vector constraint this, so select that first, and then the IK handle, and go to constraint, pull vector constraint. So by moving this around, I should get uh, the rotation, which is good. Now, uh, I need to constrain this circle to the knee, to a knee bone. It doesn't matter which one, it could be this one or this one. So select this first, then circle, go to constraint, point constraint, and make sure that um, maintain offset is selected. Hit add, and now I should see the circle moving with the foot. That looks good. And the final step is to um, select the circle, then the pull vector constraint, and go to constraint, geometry constraint. and. Uh, you should use the um, default and add and use so mo uh, oh wait before I do that I'm going to undo make sure that this is frozen so freeze transformation make sure that everything's uh, frozen in place and actually I'm going to bring it inside a little bit because it's going to jump to this edge and uh, freeze transformations again and okay, so uh, once again, uh, select the circle, then the pull vector constraint, and go to a constraint and uh, geometry. Use this add. There you go. And it jumped a little bit, but that's okay because um, I mean it's pretty close to zero. Um, and what we sh what you should see now is you get a movement of the pull vector constraint with the knee and uh, you still have control over the rotation of it. Um, there is a little thing that it doesn't update once you do undo, but if you shake it a little bit, it should go back to position. Uh, and uh, this is the way it looks. So let me turn on all the geometry and get rid of my junk. And, doo -doo. and there you go, there you have it, pretty simple pretty intuitive do I okay I selected the circle so what you want to do is you know go back afterwards and turn off the visibility of the circle because you're not going to use it again and that way you don't get confused and let me turn off my bones and there we go pretty simple uh, pretty neat neat little trick. okay thanks for watching bye